Hey guy lovers and welcome back to another video. Cats have a natural mystery to them and they are known for their perceptive shrewd dispositions. Looking into a cat's eyes, it is easy to feel as though they know all of your secrets. Well, it turns out they know some. From knowing how to elicit specific emotional responses from us to our routines and whereabouts, cats know more about us than you might think. If you enjoy this kind of content, subscribe to the channel for more cat videos. Now let's reveal eight surprising things that your cat knows about you. Number one, your schedule. Cats are very attentive and aware when it comes to their surroundings. They are also creatures of habit and routine, so cats naturally learn their guardian's schedules to adapt to their schedule. Cats are particularly reliant on reoccurring cues to figure out their family's schedule. For example, the jiggling of keys can indicate that you're getting ready to leave. The sound of your car coming down the road may let your cat know when you are leaving or arriving. If you wake up for work at the same time every day, your cat knows it and expects it. Your cat may even start to act like your alarm as it'll become more active when it knows you're about to wake up. All of these small events that you may not even notice are part of your routine and are used by your cat to guide its internal clock. It's no surprise that cats are particularly attentive when it comes to parts of your schedule that revolve around them. Feeding time, for example, is a time that cats are especially concerned with. If you are late to feed your cat, they will know and they probably won't be too happy about it. Cats are very attuned to schedules and they use yours to base expectations on and to measure time. Number 2. When you are sick. Cats have a unique sense of smell and can pick up on an array of different things just based on scent. When you are sick, your body produces different chemicals and hormones that, incredibly, your cat can smell. Even though the difference is extremely subtle, cats are still able to pick up on it with their outstanding sense of smell. Many different illnesses cause slight hormonal changes, even the common cold. Your cat is very familiar with your usual scent, so it will notice even the tiny changes. Pregnancy also causes significant hormonal changes, and many cat guardians report their cats noticing their pregnancies, sometimes even before the guardians themselves do. Cats may also smell things associated with illness such as different medications like cough drops or vapo rub. They may also take note of the physical symptoms that humans often present when sick, like coughing or fatigue. In line with fact number one, cats notice small changes in our routine that come with being sick. These subtle changes can inform a cat about how their human is feeling. There have been anecdotal accounts of cats detecting diseases like cancer or diabetes based on smell. While there is no concrete evidence to corroborate this, it is not out of the realm of possibility that cats can detect the subtle smells of these diseases. Number three, how you are feeling. Even though cats may not be the most emotive animals, that doesn't mean they don't understand how emotions look in others. Cats are very good at detecting moods and reading body language, and they can tell if you are happy, sad, or even scared. Cats have been observed behaving differently depending on how their guardian is feeling. For example, cats may be more affectionate or cuddly if their guardian is feeling sad or depressed. Cats have also been observed mirroring their guardian's moods. When their owner is smiling and happy, cats are more likely to exhibit happy behaviors like purring. However, when their owner is anxious, angry, or tense, cats are more likely to follow suit and act stressed as well. So not only do cats know how you are feeling, but they respond to it. This was demonstrated in a study conducted by Animal Cognition that found cats perform a behavior known as social referencing. Social referencing refers to the act of watching their owners or other cats for social signals. They interpret their guardian's social signals, which are often in the form of tone of voice or body language, to figure out how they are feeling. Then they respond accordingly. Emotional cues are very important to cats and they can influence their behaviors. Next time you are feeling anxious or sad, you may notice your cat giving you some extra love. Number 4. Your voice. It is natural to wonder whether or not your cat can really tell the difference between you and other people. Of course, you look and smell different than other humans, but do you sound different? After all, it can be difficult for us humans to distinguish between the meows of different cats. However, it seems that cats can not only distinguish between other voices, but they can also recognize their guardian's voice. Studies have shown that cats can accurately recognize their owner's voice when audio clips of multiple different voices are played for them, though it seems not all human voices sound the same to cats. Same study showed that cats also can recognize when they are being spoken to. We'll go over more information about that in the next fact. Number 5. When you are speaking to them. Many cat guardians talk to their cats, but of course cats can't talk back. But that doesn't mean your cat is not aware that it is being spoken to. Rather, it seems that cats know exactly when you are speaking to them and may even have some semblance of what you are saying. As mentioned in fact number 4, cats can recognize and distinguish between different voices. So your cat knows what your voice sounds like and it can recognize it even if you are in a different room. Cats also seem to be able to distinguish between when you are talking to someone else and when you are talking to them. A study conducted by Animal Cognition proved that cats know when they are being spoken to based on the responses to different audio recordings. Cats tended to react indifferently to phrases being spoken by strangers. 
Interestingly, they also failed to react to their guardian speaking if their guardian was speaking to another person. But when their audio recordings were of a guardian talking in cat-directed speech, the cats noticeably reacted. The difference between cat-directed speech and human-directed speech is the tone and vocabulary. Cat-directed speech is similar to baby talk in that it tends to be of a higher pitch and sentences tend to only consist of a few words. The cats reacting to cat-directed speech indicates that cats are not only listening, but they are learning the meaning of different tones and words. Even though your cat does not literally know what the word treat is, it associates the word with the action that follows. So when your cat hears you say treat, it knows it is probably about to get a delicious snack. This all shows that talking to your cat is a great way to strengthen your bond. Your cat is listening and it might just know what you are saying. Number six, where you have been. It is difficult to keep secrets from a cat. Cats have excellent senses of smell, which allows them to figure out exactly where you have been when you come home. Everywhere you go leaves small scent signatures on you. Even though you and other humans aren't able to pick up on these small smells, a cat certainly can. Cats can smell 14 times better than humans can, meaning they can pick up on very small details. Cats also use their sense of smell to inform their worldview. If your cat truly wanted to, it could track you to each location you've been throughout your day just based on the smells you've picked up along the way. As a related side note, a cat named Oscar made news headlines after traveling 40 miles to find his family. To learn more about that story, check out the link to the full video in the description box below. Number 7. How to get you to respond Cats are very smart animals, and they know how to use their behavior to elicit certain responses from their owners. Often, cats use this to their advantage by using tactics to get what they want. While some might consider this manipulation, cats would tell you it is simply communication. There are many ways that cats subtly manipulate their guardians to get what they want, most of which involve playing on their emotions. One of the most iconic ways that cats get their guardians to respond is by meowing. Interestingly, cats don't meow at each other to communicate. Meows are reserved only for communicating with humans, so the meow must have developed sometime in the thousands of years that cats and humans have had a relationship. It is thought that the meow was molded after the sound of a baby's cry. Often cats will meow louder at a higher pitch and more insistently if they are not acknowledged quickly enough. It seems cats have noticed that babies are rarely ignored when they are crying and they are given attention or food as a response to the sounds. So after observing the response to a baby's cry, what does a cat do when it wants food or attention? It mimics the sound of the cry and it seems to work in favor of the cats. Most cat guardians are quick to respond to a cat's meows, especially if they are increasing in frequency and volume. Cats also use their purrs to get a certain response out of their guardians. They have learned that humans tend to react positively to purring, and they use this to their advantage. If your cat is seeking out your attention, it may try purring next to you. Most often, the human response to hearing purring is to pet the cat. Number 8. Where you are in the house even if you are not in the same room as your cat, your cat probably knows exactly where in your house you are. They use environmental cues like sound and smell to track where you are in your house with precision. Cats create what is known as mental maps to pinpoint where you are at all times. Studies have proven that cats have excellent object permanence, meaning they can keep track of something even if it isn't directly in their field of vision. Humans also have great object permanence, which is why we can find our keys, sometimes, even if they aren't directly in front of us. Most animals have a basic sense of object permanence, except for pigeons, but it seems that cats have a more heightened sense than most. As such, cats can create mental maps of their surroundings. A study conducted at Kyoto University played voice recordings of a cat's owners calling their cat's names in different locations. The cat seemed to be surprised and confused when the sound would come from one room and then from a different room. This suggests that they can map the locations of their owners, so even if you don't know where your cat is, it knows where you are. While it can be difficult to read cats, they probably don't feel the same way about humans. From their super senses of smell to their acute awareness of time, cats are meticulous when it comes to what they know about their humans. Next time you notice your cat acting as your alarm clock in the morning or cuddling when you are sad, take it as a sign that your cat knows more about you than you might think. Now it's time for Cat of the Week. This video's Cat of the Week is BB. Her guardian says, she is a very vocal and loving cat who loves to cuddle and play with the softest fur ever. Congratulations, BB. Keep being possum. To enter your cat for a chance to be featured, visit the entry link in the description box below. So, did any of these things surprise you? Let us know in the comments below. Also, if you found this video interesting, please give it a thumbs up because it helps other cat lovers find our content. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next Catterday for another video.